How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Gold Rush how-to video. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to drill your claim. So this is super useful so you're not just sort of digging holes all over the place. And um, you can actually pinpoint the gold, which is fantastic. So the first thing we need to do as usual is head into town. Unless of course you've got the laptop in the tent and you want it delivered to your claim. Um, but we're going to do it the old fashioned way. We're going to head into town and I'll catch you guys when we get there. All right. We are at the machine shop. Nice auto save. And what we want to do is right at the entrance, we want to get a drilling machine. So that is $79,200. Uh, but I would suggest just renting it. It's something that you're not going to use much and daily rental costs only $3,168. Uh, yours may vary slightly, but um, for the purpose of this video, we're just going to buy it. So we're going to go to checkout. We are going to order that and we are going to go over to transport and we are going to transport that over. Make sure you've got enough space on your claim. Um, to move that over, over, otherwise you'll have to go to the bank and buy some more machine slots. So move machines and that's it. As simple as that. Let's head back to the claim and I'll show you how it all works. All right, we are back at the claim and there is the beautiful machine. So for those who don't know, uh, if you are renting a machine, then you'll pay for it daily. So get it early in the morning. Don't get it sort of midday because you're going to pay at midnight for it. Even if, you only, even if you only use it for half a day. And when you're done with it, you park it on this slab over here. You go over to this, click use and just sell. And uh, that'll basically send it back to the shop. So that's how you get rid of a rental machine. And also you can sell any sort of bits and pieces like trailers or whatever. Anything you've got really, even broken parts, you can sell there to get a bit of money back. So, yeah, just a, a little bit of insight uh, for some of you that might not know that. But anyway, this thing is stupidly slow, very similar to the excavator, really. Um, but kind of a cool looking machine. It looks very sort of beefy and mean. I don't know why it's got that big guard at the front. It just, I don't know, for what this thing does and for how slow it goes, that looks very excessive. But anyways, so as soon as you get into this machine, your claim will be divided up into blocks. And you can really start drilling wherever you want. And you can drill the entire site. You can just drill some holes here and there. Um, it is really up to you. But I think what we're going to do, since I've been dig digging around here with the excavator, uh, we'll just start here. So we're going to park up here, handbrake on. And you can show controls, so raise drill and lower drill. For me, it's R and F. Uh, for you, it might be different if you're on console. Um, but we're going to lower it. We're going to raise it back up. And we're going to move on to the next block. So we'll drill a few, maybe three of these. Uh, that'll go into the safe position. We'll move forward into the next block. And we will lower the drill back down. And yeah, I mean, you can go around. I mean, this claim is pretty big. And you can go around and just drill as many holes as you want. Drill as many blocks as you want. And yeah, it just makes it a lot easier. I would highly, highly, re highly recommend English. Um, I would highly recommend you drill the claim before you just start digging all over the place. Because it can be very time consuming digging. And it can be quite frustrating if you've been doing hours on end of digging and your clean out comes up dry so yeah it's always nice to target the gold uh, some people just prefer to just move a lot of dirt um i'll tell you that i'm kind of one of those people i like to just move a lot of dirt like over there i've been using three dump trucks and a, a front loader and just been digging out literally down to the foundations or the the bottom bedrock if you if you like uh, right okay so that is what three holes drilled and maybe four holes i think it might be four holes so what you're going to do next is you're going to bring up your sort of notebook so for me it's tab uh, for you it might be something else whatever it is that brings up your map menu and then you're going to go over to gold map. So over here, you're going to see the blocks come up in color that you've drilled. And there's different parcels. So if you're on different parcels, then you can sort of go through them on the bottom tab there. 
So from here, you can click on each block and you can sort of see where your gold is around. So that is just sort of a solid, decent gold. Um, 222 ounces in that block. So that is not bad and it's sort of just decent gold all the way through. Like on this one here, you can see it's decent gold, 260 ounces, decent gold with some heavier gold down at 7.4 to 7.9 meters deep. And then you're going to have areas like this where you have a little bit of gold on top, basically nothing in the middle. And then you've got a bit of gold again, then you've got a pretty uh, good pocket there at 4.6. And then some decent gold again down to bedrock, which is 10 meters and yeah, so that way you can basically see that from the top, you have to dig about halfway through just to get through the dead spot. Um, so about halfway through to the bottom is where your good gold is going to start. And from here, you'll have to go a little bit deeper. And then what you can also do is when you've drilled and you get all of these nice pockets, you can actually mark them. So you can toggle square and we can say, let's say that was a good one. Then we can toggle that square as well. And what will happen is they will show up in little blocks. And it's also colored to show you how good the gold is in that area. So yeah, you can mark out all of these blocks around your claim and basically take your excavator and just dig in that specific area to target all of the good gold. But that is literally as simple as that. So you can see even when I get out, it shows the blocks now and I know exactly where to target the gold. Uh, so yeah, you can drill, as I say, as many of these holes as you want. Um, you can drill all of the squares if you really want to. And it'll be very helpful if you do. It's just a little bit time consuming. But yeah, that is how it all works. So I hope you found that helpful. If you did, make sure to smash that like button. And I will see you all next time.